My parents are living a life I don't want to live at 70. Women are really the pioneers of aging. A woman really needs chocolate. Love older women, younger men. Woman a pause. Yeah. <laughs> women who don't have to pause. We, we are best friends. Minnesota Okinawa. We are the Mountain Women of Jackson Hole. To your health. I have prepared myself to be where I am. Having a purpose is the key. People say I must be special to do this, but I'm not special. I just love. Part of my purpose is to help those little things make a gigantic difference. We all have challenges. None of us get through this lifetime without a hard time. Breast cancer is really a disease related to hormones. It's like the play, you know. My mother wouldn't say the word. Anything that you do to prevent heart disease also prevents cancer and makes you live longer and better. It isn't ever too late. Five girls to simulate what an actual jam would be. I cry, I feel much better afterwards. This is why I do what I do. Our estrogen decreases and it really affects our sex drive. The hormone changes, he ain't got no problems compared to that, I promise you. We're not gonna go back to hunter-gatherer, but we do have to make some changes. America's lifestyle is killing us. Age is just a number. The older a tree gets, the more beautiful it gets. It's not really a male-dominated world. Men just think it is. At the University of Michigan's A. Alfred Taubman Medical Research Institute, we're standing behind women as they embrace all of life to the fullest. New Step Ann Arbor, supporting the active lives of women with inclusive fitness products for over 20 years. The area agencies on aging serving Southeast Michigan are a trusted resource for and a proud supporter of today's aging woman. As women, we know that having a close circle of friends is important. I'm Desiree Cooper. Today's episode will explore the benefits of sisterhood. We'll learn from our professionals just why a close circle of friends can really improve your health. And guys, you can learn a thing or two here, so pay attention. What if we did the girls, the girls in harmony three, we do three part, we get somebody, we'll get one or two people to double you, and then they go to ooh. So ooze on the peak. Ooze on the that and then and then don't limit yourself, little girl, is is the whole group too. The whole group. Friendships are very important. I think for both men and women. We're recording a song that I wrote that was really stimulated by me embracing my age and realize how much I had left and how much more I want to do. And one of the main things was someone said to me, the dreams you had in your 20s shouldn't be the same dreams you have now. And I realized that was so freeing and it opened me up and that's what stimulated this song. I've invited all my friends who are in the music business who have had the success that I have had, put albums out, they're strong women in their own right and they're all coming here tonight. Chris McCall, Carolyn Striho, Barb's another rock and roll Detroit girl. Mary McGuire and I were neighbors growing up. We've got Julianne Ankley who's a country singer. We've got Jamie Susil, Linda Lexi, Kira Newman, Annie Capps, Thornetta Davis, our blues chick. We have a lot of altos here, for sure. Yeah. We need Up some low. Low, low. Yes. low, low. Okay. Yeah, I'm sitting next to her. Okay. So, <laughs> let's just, let's just, wait. You guys, I know. Okay, you got millions. Continue to make an effort to nurture relationships because friendships, um, you have to nurture just like everything else. You have to um, make an effort to keep keep those relationships and bonds together. Oftentimes these friendships develop over time and uh, it's, it's not easy just to um, 
go out there and establish some really powerful relationships quickly. You were talking about being older. I, I didn't even think about it, you know? And then people started saying, well, you've been on the scene so long. And I'm like, yeah, I guess I have, you know? So I'm really grateful for this opportunity. And, um, you know, it's on a night before a big thing for me. And yeah. so Carolyn's got to go. She's got surgery tomorrow. This is for you. And this is from all of us, OK? We love you. We'll be no. thinking about you. Breast cancer. So I'm going in for some surgery tomorrow. So this helps me kind of get through, I guess, that. Yeah, she was, <laughs> she was, I mean, obviously she said yes, but she was apprehensive. And I said, what better place to be than be surrounded by women that love you? And we're all going to send her off with really good energy yeah, for tomorrow. So it's going to be a super successful surgery. And she's going to heal up quickly. Yeah, quicker yes. so I can go out and rock again. You, know? you bet. We've got quite the lineup. It's going to be, a, the room's going to be booming for sure. Look beyond your horizons. Look beyond your world. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Limit yourself, little girl. We need some of them. Yeah, they'll sing louder if you do it. Yeah. <laughs> because we are social animals and we are constantly learning from one another, other women's experiences help us make sense of our own. And if you are uh, fortunate to have even one friend who is able to hear you and your concerns, validate your emotions, or even say, I get that, and that makes sense to me. Women go through different stages in life. And there's always that time that you'll find yourself uh, needing that special person to talk to that understands you, that's not judgmental, um, that allows you to be you. And that's what you find in girlfriends. It's like you're with a bunch of aliens all the time. And then you go sit with these friends and all of a sudden they understand your language. And you're like, phew, this is exhausting that nobody else understood but they did and then they put it in such a way that is so peaceful now why would i need a man out here to do this <laughs> the girls are coming over tonight Raise your glasses, ladies. The Detroit ladies. All right. OK, All right. here we are. The one single thing that I think women should do is keep their girlfriends close. Because your girlfriends will fill in whatever gaps you have. They will take up the slack. No, it's not the same as having a warm body in, in bed with you when you go to sleep at night. But, you know, that's a, that's a physical need, perhaps. I'm talking about an emotional need for, an emotional need for someone that you know cares about you. And what I would say unequivocally is that the three women sitting at this table care more about me than most everybody in the whole world. We yes, do. we do. Yes, yeah, we, we do. do. I know that, and yeah, I know do. that. And we don't, we don't articulate that to each other. We don't, it's just there. It's, you, you, you feel it, you know it. You, it. It's one of those things you don't even have to say. I just know that. All three of the girls are so genuine, and that's why I love them. We get together for every, every one of our birthdays. There's, there's five of us. Um, one of them's kind of drifted off, but they're, <clears throat> we go to Florida once a year together. The husbands all know it. We go on weekend trips together. We've been like this for, well, actually, we've been through a lot oh. together. All you of know us. what we were talking about is the one person that kept us all together is not here tonight. Yeah, really sad. that is sad. Mm -hmm. well, I was thinking about the. To Paula. Right. To Paula. Yeah. Well, she's doing well. Speaking of, do you, I guess she's back with Tim now. She just left. We'll flip it away. There's something you get from being with your friends that you don't get. Uh, with being with your husband or being around other people. A lot of women in here. Yeah, we're, we're hot menopause. Man. We got hot menopause. Hot. 
You will find places you sweat that you never knew. One thing I can't before. say is that I, I don't say. I think I, I break my I don't water. Have anything and to I don't say. even have water to break anymore. I no. like hot sauce on my chicken. Yeah. yeah. Hot sauce on yeah. my yeah. No, it was hot sauce on my chicken. Yeah. 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 This concept of self-efficacy, having confidence in my ability to do things and make changes. When we see someone that we can connect with, like a, a peer role model, someone we know, well, she's a lot like me. She has the same health conditions or the same background or same challenges, and look what she's been able to do. That increases my confidence that I could do it myself, and I'm more willing to try. When I walk in here, I feel like someone puts their arms around me and hugs me and says it's okay. Yeah. And I still feel that way. Because it is okay. It is okay. <laughs> One of the greatest events we have is Bras for a Cause, and, and that's because it started organically through one young woman, Shannon Watson, who lost her battle at 29, but before she did, she envisioned this runway show that she had seen somewhere else where survivors would come and strut their stuff and art bras are auctioned off. Gilda's Club started with the vision of one woman, one woman who said, everybody has to have a place. And that woman was Gilda Radner. She was the very first cast member on Saturday Night Live. Last Thursday, I quit smoking. Now, I'm depressed, I gained weight, my face broke out, I'm nauseous, I'm constipated, my feet swelled, my gums are bleeding, my sinuses are clogged, I got heartburn, I'm cranky, and I have gas. <laughs> what should I do? She was a funny woman, and she was young, and then diagnosed with ovarian cancer, and it flipped her life upside down. When she was in remission, she said, everybody has to have a place. I have sisters. I have two sisters. I love them. You know, they're my sisters. I have, uh, I have girlfriends that I went through kindergarten with, you know. I don't feel closer to anyone than I do to you guys, you know, and to the people at Gilda's. Because no one knew what I went through. No one knew how afraid I was. You look at me through my ugly cry. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. My ugly cry. <laughs> and you're okay with that? It's because... the ugly cry or it's the baldness oh. or it's the, it's the... Or we all do this. Look at mine. How are yours? <laughs> I'm like, okay, chemotherapy. I've heard about it. I'm sure I'll get thin. Mm -hmm. I was trying oh, yeah. to find, it's like, like, I was trying to find the upside to it. There is no upside. You know what the, you know, the upside is? Yeah, it's going to be over. Right. No, yeah. Yeah. It's no my this. Friend. Yeah. That's, true. Yes. That's true. Thank <laughs> God we have Gildas because we never would have met. No. No. Mm -mm. None of us. We never would have seen each other half naked. I mean, <laughs> that's a treat. Cancer's yes. hideous and it's ugly, but and it's scary. But I don't know, I don't feel afraid here. No. We had a woman here at Gilda's Club who said, no matter the outcome of my disease, Gilda's Club saved my life. Gilda's is sisterhood. Woo! This is Bras for a Cause, sixth annual sisterhood at its finest. The models have been getting ready all day long. They've gotten their hair, their makeup, the little extra adjustments. You can't even explain how inspirational this runway show is. Sisterhood! Woo! No, gasping. no, you misunderstood. I had a tapas. Oh, a tapas, right. <laughs> okay, so right. she had tapas on the beach. Yes. We were looking at all the guys because, truthfully, they were truthfully, not They were looking. what I expected. We were hoping they yes. would be a little better, like the right. Italian yes. guys. This is like a perfect two women. They care about Two themselves. women? 
to oh. women. Oh, okay. I cannot I mean, speak about myself. No, you can't. Because, I mean, I'm perfect, but I would never say that because it makes everybody else look less. No, I know. No, but I treasure my friends because they are smart, they are good looking, they work at what's important to them, and important things are important They're to them. Age appropriate. They t a very, very important. They're age appropriate, they look after their husbands. And they're good women. Group hug. Hey, man, a group hug. <laughs> How important is friendship? It's more everything. To, more today than ever before. It's almost yes. everything. In, in every facet of life, in every difficulty you encounter, you pick up and you say, Barbara, Jackie, oh my God, you're not going to believe this. And, and they listen and they care. And either they say to you, oh, just grow up. Don't even listen to that person. You don't need to hear from that. You know, and, and it's just everything. Since I'm living this retired lifestyle, I have found several people that I can really be close to and talk to and feel that they would be there for me and vice versa. Uh, whereas in my past, I, I I guess I wasn't that social as I am now. I had my one well, you were best probably friend. Bu and you were busier. I was busy, but right? you were busier. I was, that I was has busy. a lot to do I was do with working. It. I had children at home. But it, it, it wasn't a necessity in my life. I had too many other things going on. And now I've been fortunate enough to make some very good friends, newer friends in, the, say, the last 10, 15 years. What, what do I always say to you? They walk among us. No, no, no. The other thing about staying well. Take your vitamins. <laughs> I say to Barbara take all the time, vitamins. take Judith your vitamins. Well, to Judith take thinks my vitamins. she has a, a, a degree. She thinks she's No, I want everybody to take their vitamins so you'll be here a long time so we can still be together. <laughs> I'm taking my vitamins. Okay. We are the, the ladies of Boynton Beach, Beach and, and we are best friends. No matter where you hang out with your friends, at home, in a book club, on the phone, you're definitely going to relate to these girlfriends as they climb high into the mountains of Jackson Hole, Wyoming. It's not just about the fresh air and beautiful views. It's about the stress-relieving connection with people who know you best. Women can be a lot of fun, too. I mean, they, we might really encourage ourselves to take some safe risks, to break out of a rut, and we model for each other socially what is possible. For me, life has been about learning to, to love myself, and therefore I can love other people, and to trust myself, and also to re-inspire myself. And I think that's why I do so many of the things I do out here. It's going to be great. It's going to be good. We're going to have a good time. OK, we always do. Women always need friends. Men need friends, too. But in later life, it becomes even more important. And we know from science that strong social networks in later life are what provide the tangible and emotional support that all human beings need. I often hike with my friends. But on this particular day, we decided to hike from the top of the gondola to the top of the tram. And it was wonderful because we'd never hiked this new trail that we've just recently put in together. And it's, as you hike, we, we were just amazed. We had to stop time and time again and look down on these runs that we ski in the winter. It's called the Crags Trail. It starts about two-thirds of the way up the mountain, and we go up to 10,500 feet. And it's, it's a fun trail. Mostly it's on the roadway. We did a couple of little deviations through the rocks just to create excitement. And I think we just loved it. Love you. <laughs> I can't imagine not having close, close groups of women in my life. Like little leprechaun woods. Anybody hungry? I have a number. I, I have a quilt guilt. I, I have a quilt guilt. Um, the ski group, the climbing group, and a, and a book club group, and all of those uh, groups are, are really uh, an important part of my life. And leaving them is really scary. We are the Mountain Women of Jackson Hole.
fucking sunshine and the no nuts. Mary fucking sunshine and the no nuts. Because we had no men in our group. So they designated me to go tell Connie. <laughs> that so that was I, our name. That was our new name. And so I came up to Connie and I said, well, Connie, we got a name. So I told her and she looked at me and she goes, it's awful long, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> We're here at the tram. I have a surprise for you. We're not going to ride inside. We're going to ride on top of it. Yay! Yay! Have I got this right? Okay. Webbing. Come down. That's so Rock on. Connie, I, I really do love you. Thanks, Kay, for joining me in this life. Friendship with my girlfriends to me is extremely important because they're a major part of my life. I see most of them I see every week or do s some activity with them, and they're my big support system. We're off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Oz. <laughs> Good luck flying, everybody. Thank you. Yeah, we'll see you at the bottom. I'm excited. We're good. Come on in with feel a little sense of responsibility when we dream up these things <laughs> to make sure everybody's okay at the end of it. We've been very fortunate so far. Beauty is in observing, in listening, in hearing the story, in feeling the environment, in looking into my soul. It's in the quiet spaces more than just looking out on a great vista. It's really feeling into that vista. It's feeling into that person and being with them, really. It doesn't matter where they're from, what they do. If I just really, really listen, I can feel the beauty in them. Keeping that ties, even during the busy time, will be very helpful for women after they're all by themselves because these friends, for women, these friends are very, very important. That social network for women, we have to live among the group of women. We have to vent. We have so much to say to each other. <laughs> it's just, I think it's a big stress reliever for women and makes them live longer. Here's to good friends and good health. I'm Desiree Cooper. When I see you next week, we'll learn about two conditions that can challenge our quality of life as we age, type 2 diabetes and arthritis.
At the University of Michigan's A. Alfred Taubman Medical Research Institute, we're standing behind women as they embrace all of life to the fullest.